The number of apps available on Android is what makes the platform great. So it's natural that we want them to work properly. Sometimes, however, Android apps stop working, responding or loading. And when that happens, you want to be prepared. So we've decided to put together a list of common fixes for Android apps not working, which should have you back up and running in no time. The vast majority of Android users are quite familiar with the inconvenient issue of an app malfunctioning. Whether the app is not opening, crashing or just not responding, there are steps you can take to remedy the situation. This video looks at ways to deal with Android apps not working. Fixing installed apps not working. Problems with installed apps usually stem from issues with code, lack of storage on your device or even a one-time glitch. Try and apply one or more of these fixes. Restart your phone. This is the first thing you should do when dealing with an unresponsive app. Press your device's power button for approximately 10 seconds and select the restart reboot option. If there is no restart option, then power it down, wait for 5 seconds and turn it back on again. Once the system loads up again, try launching the app again to see if the issue is still around. If yes, continue. Update the app. The next step is to check and see if there aren't any updates available for the app. Open the Google Play Store, tap the hamburger menu in the upper left corner and select My Apps and Games. Apps that have updates available are listed here. If you see your malfunctioning app on the list, tap update and then check it again to see if the issue has been resolved. Alternatively, you can simply search for the app using the search bar at the top. If there's an update available, you'll see an update button underneath the app's thumbnail. Check for any Android updates. Another way to solve the problem of an Android app not working is to update your system. Users are alerted via a notification when an OTA is available to download and install, but sometimes for whatever reason we put off doing the upgrade and forget all about it. Updating your device usually brings with it numerous benefits including ensuring the smooth running of your apps. To check if an update has landed on your device manually, go to your device's settings, system, system updates, depending on your phone's model, the routes may vary. You may need to go through system, advanced system update, or instead look for the about phone section and from there select software update. You'll find your update status after following these steps. If a new update is indeed available, follow the steps that appear on the screen. Once it is installed, the phone will reboot and you can try again to load the troublesome app. For stop the app. If you try to do all of the above but the app continues to malfunction, try and force stop the app through the phone settings. Most of the time when an app crashes or freezes, it's because you've not fully closed it. Force stopping the app kills the current instance of the app quickly and painlessly. From settings, app notifications or apps on other phones and see all apps, find and tap on the specific app that's causing problems. Underneath you'll notice some buttons and options. Select the one that says force stop and then go back to the app and try to launch it again. Clear the app's cache data. Another solution to this annoying problem is to go a bit deeper and clear the app's cache and data. Again, the steps vary based on manufacturer, but on certain handsets you need to tap settings, app notifications, apps and notifications, see all apps. Tap on the respective app and then on storage and clear cache. Note that this is a temporary solution that over time the cache data reserve will fill up again, so you'll need to repeat the process. Uninstall and install the app again. If none of the solutions discussed have worked for you, you could try uninstalling and installing the app again. To uninstall the app, simply long press on it until a list of options shows up on the screen. Select the uninstall option, then proceed to the Google Play Store, search for the app and install it again on your handset. Another solution is to go to the Google Play Store, search for the app and from there tap on the uninstall button that is usually positioned underneath on the left. Just keep in mind that uninstalling some apps will wipe your data or media. Check your SD card if you have one. For those who are dealing with an app that crashes, the culprit may be a corrupted memory card. In such a case, any apps that write the faulty memory card will be played by this type of error. To check if that's indeed the problem, remove your memory card and launch the app once again. If it works now, great, but you'll probably need to get a new memory card. Nevertheless, the SD card is probably not entirely non-functional, so you'll most likely be able to transfer your data to your PC safely. Contact the developer. If you've tried everything and still failed to restore the app to its normal functioning status, you could try to contact the developer directly to explain the issue and ask for help. To do so, go to the Google Play Store, search for the app in question and look for the developer section down below. Reset to factory settings. 
As a last resort, reset your device to factory settings. Do not attempt this unless you've backed up all your data beforehand. That's a warning. A factory reset has the effect of wiping everything on your phone or tablet. Once the deed is done, you'll be able to restore everything quickly and painlessly, but only provided you've made a backup. That's the second warning. To perform a factory reset on your device, head to Settings, System, Erase All Data, Factory Reset. Depending on the phone you're using, the path may be a little different. For example, on some phones, you'll need to go to Settings, Backup and Reset and Factory Data Reset. Fix instant apps not working. The tips I've covered so far apply to standard Android apps that have been installed on your phone. However, there's another type of app, Instant Apps. These are available for a select number of devices and don't require installation. Even though they're not fully fledged apps, they can still malfunction from time to time. When that happens, you can try to apply one of these solutions. Check your internet connection and reload the app. If you're dealing with an unresponsive Instant App, make sure to check your Wi-Fi or mobile data connection and verify it is functioning correctly. For in-depth instructions on how to fix mobile data not working on your Android or how to fix the obtaining IP address error on Android, links in the description. Once you've confirmed the internet connection is up and running, tap on the link again to see if the app works as it should. Turn Instant Apps on and off. If the app is still not working for you, try to turn the instant apps on and off to see if that helps. Open settings, apps and notifications, default apps, opening links. Turn the instant apps toggle off and back on. For good measure, also check the instant apps preference section, which is right below instant apps to see if the upgrade web links option is on and turn it on if it's not. This allows web links to open in instant apps instead of in a browser when available. Once you're done, go back to your instant app and check it again. Now that you've learned how to fix Android apps that are not working, maybe you'd like to continue to improve your Android experience, in which case you may be interested in reading about how to make your phone battery last longer. Link in the description. Okay. As always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.